Did you know that a big percentage of individuals in our population are facing stomach acid deficiency? When your stomach is working normally, you probably don't think about it at all, but when it starts acting up, you can't ignore it. So what happens when your stomach acid disappears? Let's find out. We already know that our stomach has powerful digestive fluids. Among these, hydrochloric acid is the most severe. This liquid form of hydrogen chloride is not only potent, but also adaptable, being used in fertilizers, fireworks, rubber production, and even steel fabrication. Now imagine inhaling this potent acid accidentally. You'd likely experience nose and breathing issues, emphasizing its potential danger. But here's the twist. This seemingly perilous acid is actually crucial for your well-being. Without it, your digestive system would be in big trouble. Picture this. You take a bite of a pizza, and like clockwork, your stomach springs into action, releasing its powerful gastric juices. These juices are a concoction crafted by three glands nestled in the lining of your stomach. Now, as you chew and swallow, your food transforms into what experts call a bolus. This bolus embarks on a journey down your esophagus, eventually reaching its destination, your stomach. Here, it mingles with the gastric juices we mentioned earlier. And let me tell you, this mixture means business. But fear not, your stomach is equipped with a secret weapon, a protective shield made up of epithelial cells lining its walls. These cells act as bodyguards, shielding your stomach lining from the corrosive effects of the gastric acid. In simpler terms, Imagine your stomach as a fortress, with these epithelial cells standing guard to keep everything running smoothly, even in the face of potent gastric juices. Now, what is the mystery of stomach acid and its importance in your body? Despite its extreme nature, stomach acid performs four essential functions that keep your digestion on track. First off, it's the ultimate protein buster breaking down those complex molecules into more manageable pieces through a process called proteolysis. Then, it plays matchmaker by activating pepsin, a digestive enzyme that further assists in protein digestion. But that's not all. Stomach acid moonlights as a vigilant guardian, wiping out any pesky bacteria that might hitch a ride on your food, protecting you from potential harm. And here's the kicker. It's also a master communicator, sending chemical signals that orchestrate the smooth transition of food into your small intestine. After the food completes its journey through the small intestine, it makes its grand entrance into the large intestine. And, well, you know the rest of the story. Your entire digestive tract, from mouth to, well, the other end, is like a well-oiled machine, with each part playing a crucial role. But if stomach acid were to vanish from the equation, how would the plot twist for your digestive system? Imagine biting into a delicious bagel, chewing it up and swallowing it down. But when it reaches your stomach, it's like hitting a dead end. There's no stomach acid to break down the food, so it just sits there. And while it hangs out, bacteria start to multiply, which could make you sick. Without stomach acid, your body struggles to absorb important stuff like protein and other nutrients from the food. Plus, the food might rush through your system too quickly, leading to a condition called dumping syndrome, where undigested food comes out the other end. Basically, without stomach acid, your digestion goes haywire, leaving you feeling pretty awful and missing out on essential nutrients your body needs to stay healthy. The condition known as hypochlorhydria results from the stomach's inability to create hydrochloric acid. Hypochloridria can cause a wide range of complications, including Number 1. Protein malabsorption. Low stomach acid levels hinder the digestion of proteins, leading to a general malabsorption. This deficiency in protein absorption can increase the risk of osteoporosis due to insufficient raw materials for bone replacement. Number 2. Trace element absorption. Inadequate stomach acid impairs the absorption of essential trace elements, vital for normal bodily functions. This slowdown in biochemical processes can accelerate aging and make individuals more susceptible to diseases like cancer, heart disease, and neurodegenerative conditions. Number three, reduce disease defense. Low stomach acid levels diminish the body's ability to sterilize stomach contents, making individuals more vulnerable to gut infections such as gastroenteritis and enteroviruses. Gastric acid serves as a crucial defense mechanism against harmful bacteria and viruses, 
and its deficiency can lead to various health issues. Number four, fermentation and digestive discomfort. Insufficient stomach acid can result in undigested foods fermenting in the stomach, leading to bloating, gas, and discomfort. Fermentation may also produce alcohol, further disrupting digestive processes and potentially causing food poisoning or related issues. Number five, microbial allergies. When gut microbes spill into the bloodstream, they can trigger allergic or inflammatory reactions in distant parts of the body. This phenomenon could explain conditions like irritable bladder, arthritis, venous ulcers, and more, linking gut health to overall well-being. Number six, fermenting brain. Research suggests that fermentation in the gut can affect the brain, leading to the production of substances that influence mood and behavior. This could shed light on psychiatric conditions and the often observed connection between food and mood. Number seven, stomach cancer, risk. Incorrect bacteria and yeast in the stomach can irritate its lining, increasing the risk of stomach cancer. Maintaining a healthy balance of stomach microbes is crucial for reducing this risk. Also, microbes in the upper gut, particularly in environments with low stomach acid, may contribute to the development of bowel tumors. This is evidenced by the increased risk of stomach cancer in regions where hypochlorhydria is prevalent, such as Japan. Number eight, vitamin B12, malabsorption. Proper stomach acid levels are necessary for the absorption of vitamin B12. Medications like omeprazole, which reduce stomach acid, can significantly decrease B12 absorption, potentially leading to deficiencies and related health issues. Now, let me tell you one more vital piece of information. Childhood asthma has been linked to low stomach acid levels for quite some time now. It turns out that asthma in kids is often triggered by food allergies. But here's the twist. When these foods aren't properly digested due to low stomach acid, they become even more likely to cause allergic reactions and, you guessed it, asthma. Back in the 1930s, a study found that a whopping 80% of kids with asthma also had low stomach acid levels. Talk about a strong connection. But here's the silver lining. As these kids grow up and their stomachs mature and acid production kicks in, the asthma tends to fade away. Kids with low stomach acid often struggle to absorb their food properly, which can lead to them being underweight. So it's not just about breathing easier, it's about overall health and digestion too. Thankfully, stomach acid doesn't vanish into thin air. However, having too little of it, known as hypochlorhydria, is a prevalent health concern in the United States, a whopping 22% of the population grapples with this issue. Factors like aging, stress, indulging in processed foods, and over-relying on antacids can all throw your stomach out of whack. Now, what to do? The good news is that you can always consume ginger, fermented veggies, or sip apple cider vinegar. They can reduce inflammation, break down food, and raise stomach acid, resulting in a healthier digestive system. Treating low stomach acid can involve a few different approaches, each with its own benefits. One option is to take acid supplements like cider vinegar, which can help acidify the stomach and improve digestion. However, cider vinegar may not agree with everyone due to its yeast content. Another approach is to take high doses of ascorbic acid with meals. Combining it with minerals in a supplement like mineral mix can create a mix of mineral ascorbates and hydrochloric acid optimizing absorption by mildly acidifying the stomach and putting minerals in an absorbable form. A third option is betaine hydrochloride capsules, which are taken with meals and the dosage adjusted based on individual response. Starting with a low dose and gradually increasing can be effective. In the long term, improvements in diet, addressing issues like helicobacter pylori infection, and restoring healthy gut flora can help the stomach produce acid normally again resolving chronic gastritis. Have you ever experienced any symptoms of low stomach acid, or do you have any tips for maintaining a healthy digestive system? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more content and insights.